So, um, so hi, my name is Jennifer, and I am a Pamper Jeff consultant. I've been a consultant for um, 23 and a half years, going on 24 years, and I started my business because I wanted everything, and I have everything now, which is nice, and every time we come out with new products, you know, I get them too, so that's kind of fun, but I wanted to bring you guys into my kitchen and share with you something fun that I've been making, and um, I did this with my team last night and thought, oh my gosh, this would be the perfect thing to share with you guys, so um, we're going to be making some hand pies, and I'm going to tell you about all the different things that you can do. Um, with this hand pie maker and the air fryer and um, all of that good stuff. So let's just start. If you're watching this on the replay, go ahead and check in. Say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. Hashtag replay. I want to hear all about it. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands real quick. <clears throat> so I've been sick this past week. So if I sound kind of nasally, that's why. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm super glad I rested up today so I would have time to, so I'd feel good enough to do this. So, um, no makeup. This is me, au naturel. <laughs> so, all right. So, <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is I've got some of this stuff. I've, I've been making these a time or two. So, I, I just make a little bit, but I've got, so I've got my stuff here. So, this is just a can of um, flaky biscuits. And I didn't use the whole can, so I just wrapped it back up. Okay, and I'm not going to use the whole can tonight either, so it just takes a long time. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to show you this. We're going to make dessert ones first. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually spray the air fryer trays. <clears throat> the air fryer trays are able to go into the dishwasher, which is super handy for when you get stuff on them. We also have this brand new mess catcher tray that you can slide in there. So when you have stuff that's kind of gooey, like what we're making right now, it doesn't make a mess. I don't have that out, so we're not going to use it. I'm just going to spray the trays so that nothing sticks to the trays. So the air fryer is really great for all kinds of things. You can use it to make little hand pies like we're making. We use it to roast asparagus. We use it to make green beans all the time. And there's a basket that comes with it, and we make those like french fries. So awesome. Um, you can heat up frozen things like hot dogs, I mean corn dogs, or um, let's see, what else? Corn dogs or um, chicken nuggets or chicken tenders, those are a good thing in there. I mean, biscuits, I do frozen biscuits a lot in there, and I just will pop in one or two biscuits on a Saturday morning. Um, that way I don't have a whole plate of biscuits that I'm trying to not eat. So um, it's just me and my husband, and so we, you know, I try to do things that are not creating a ton of food leftovers for us. So so what I did with these big flaky, flaky biscuits is I actually went ahead and um, separated them. Now I'm going to put a little bit of um, flour on the cutting mat here and I'm just using the cutting mats. We have baking, we have a baking mat that's designed for, for doing this. That would probably be a good thing to use. But I'm just using the cutting mats today. And then we're going to take the baker's roller and we're going to roll these out to um, be about four inches wide okay so we want them to be about four inches wide because that's how big the hand pie maker is okay so sticking to this a little bit now i love our baker's roller because um, it gives you a little bit more control when you're rolling i mean if you were trying to if i was trying to do this with a big huge roller it might be a little bit more of a problem so it's nice to be able to have the smaller thing to give me a little bit more control over it so all right let me put a little flour on here this would be good to have in a flour sugar shaker where is my flour sugar shaker that has flour in it no idea you need to get one of those out and put some flour in it i have one that has cinnamon and sugar which we're going to use and I have one that has um, powdered sugar. <laughs> so, but my one that has the flour in it, I'm not sure where it is. So, need to find that little guy. And then um, using the flour sugar shaker is a great way to sprinkle just a little flour out. And I'll show that to you when I sprinkle the um, stuff on there. All right. So, the next thing we're going to do, I've got these spread out into about four inches. Then I'm going to take my hand pie maker. This is the hand pie maker. And we're just going to make little half ones. So we're going to use the part that folds. You can make full size ones and use the whole thing. But we're just going to do little half ones today. 
And the first thing I'm gonna do is put my little biscuit on there. And then I'm gonna take my scooper and this is just pie crust. And um, I actually took some scissors upside down and cut up the apple pie so that it was smaller, so we had smaller pieces. Then I'm just gonna take my little brush here and brush around the edges. And that's because I will, with water. So that's because I want them to stick together. And then we'll just fold this over like this. And I can kind of pull this biscuit off right here. You can use a knife or just pull it off. Got a good little crunch right there. And then I have a perfect little pie. So we'll do that again. Like I said, we're just gonna make four of these little mini ones. It's enough for like dessert, right? So um, after I made these last time, my husband and I were kind of brainstorming about the other things that you could make with this. And he's going hunting in a week, two weeks, I guess. And um, I told him, I said, you know, I can make some uh, scrambled egg and ham filling and put it in a biscuit for you. And then you'll have, um, and then you'll have some biscuits, um, kind of little pocket biscuits for breakfast. You can stick them in the um, just stick them in the microwave. He has a generator and he's taking the big class C so he can use the microwave. Um, or you can, I said, or you can just, you know, eat them cold. I'm sure they'll be fine cold. Um, but they're great to stick in your pocket for something. I could do some sausage, make some sausage in there, just mix a little mixture and then um, put them in there and bake them. So I'll probably be doing that next week, getting ready for his um, hunting trip. So what are some other things that you guys think that you could do? Go ahead and comment and tell me what are some other things that you think would be good little um, pies you can do in here. So we're gonna use, we're using, bis this is biscuits, right? And so then I'm gonna use pie crust, I mean not pie crust, um, pizza crust in just a moment, okay? This little scooper comes with it so it's just the right size um, to fill. Come on, get out of there. Okay, there we go. So it's just the right size to fill. And again, I'm just basting the water so that it sticks. One of the things um, when I first did this is it wasn't sticking. So this is just kind of a little trick. And then you give it a nice little squeeze and then it's right there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna spritz some oil on the top of those again. This is the oil spritzer, kitchen spritzer, I believe is what it's called. And actually, we have a new design, which is a nice, pretty aesthetic design. I haven't switched out all my products for the new products yet. So um, I love our kitchen spritzer. It's a great way to save money in your kitchen. So I've sprayed that, and then I'm going to sprinkle some. And I meant to do this. I meant to sprinkle some Cinnamon Plus on the inside, and I totally forgot. Next round. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some cinnamon and sugar on the top. And I have these trays like right on the top of a um, mat so that I don't, I'm not getting my table dirty, okay? So that is our sweet, those are our sweet little hand pies, okay? And we're gonna stick those, um, I'm gonna stick those on the bottom part. Close that up. And then we're gonna do our savory ones, okay? So we're gonna swap this out a little bit. And this is, pie crust from the other day. So and I didn't use all of it, so we're gonna spread that out. Hopefully I don't knock anything onto the floor. That's pretty common for me to do. <laughs> I knock stuff. See my dog right here? It's a Zeus. He thinks if I'm cooking, it means he's getting food. He's a little booger that way. So this is just a ready-made pie crust, okay? So I had a ready-made pie crust that, um, just some extra, let me put, put that out in a second. Um, this, I had a ready-made pie crust that I just rolled out, okay? And so we're gonna roll it out, get it a little bit bigger because I wanna get, I wanna get um, four hand pies off of this, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna use my biscuit cutters. So this is the perfect thing to do if you are struggling for breakfast or in you know times of COVID the way everything is now, we wanna have all individual servings. 
So this is pretty handy when it comes to that. This is the biscuit cutters. Look at how cute. They come with a whole bunch of different cutters. We're gonna use the four inch size, which is the biggest one. And we're gonna cut four um, little circles. All right, so I've got my four circles here. And then the rest of this I can actually put into, I can actually roll it out later and make some more. So again, same with, this is dishwasher safe, very handy. Um, so same with the, um, wrap that up to use later. But same with the biscuits. I'm gonna roll these out a little bit. Now the pizza crust is gonna be a little, I, I rolled it out a little bit, so it's gonna be a little thinner, which is just fine. And again, these make great lunches. Do your kids like Hot Pockets? These are just like Hot Pockets, I kid you not, it's amazing. All right, so I got these stacked up. I'm actually, because the pizza dough is a little stretchier, I'm actually gonna put a little water on the thing here. And then I'm going to stretch this over and I have my ingredients already parsed out here. Okay, I got my little spoon dirty so I need to get a different spoon. Okay, this is just tomato sauce, like leftover tomato sauce. So I'm going to do a little scoop of that on there. Then I'm going to do some mozzarella, probably about a tablespoon, okay? And then I'm just gonna take a couple of pepperonis and stick them in there. Then I'm gonna take some water again, go around the edges here, tuck it, and pinch, okay? So now we've got this off here. We have a little Hot pocket hand pie, so yummy. And we'll do that again for before these. A little scoop of the spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce. Uh, a great way to make tomato sauce is actually to um, get a can of tomato sauce, like just a plain can. Take a um, tablespoon of our um, Italian seasoning and put it in there, mix it with a little teaspoon of sugar. The sugar helps to cut the acidity and then let it sit for a couple of hours for the, um, for the uh, seasoning to kind of um, rehydrate, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, anyway, and then that is great tomato sauce and it doesn't make a whole lot it's just like about a cup and a half or two cups and that's what I used when I used to make pizza every Friday night and that's what I, we used on our pizza so perfect all right so this cheese was grated with our um, all new adjustable cheese grater right here it's the adjustable course grater okay and it comes with a little slidey on the back so you pull that down and it opens and it goes into a kickstand or you can open it all the way, put it on the top of a bowl. Dishwasher safe. Love the new um, adjustable grater. And then this is the food holder that goes with it. So that's what I use to cut the, um, to grate the cheese. And you definitely want to grate your cheese because grated cheese has um, so much more flavor than cheese that's um, just, uh, already grated in a bag because it has it's fresher it doesn't have all that stuff on the top of it um, you know the cellulose powder to keep it from um, to keep it from caking and um, it just it has so much more flavor you know kind of cheese that remembers where it came from is good kind of cheese to have so and this is mozzarella cheese so I bought the mozzarella cheese in a block if you wanted to use fresh mozzarella cheese you really can't grate fresh mozzarella cheese but you could definitely, you know, cut some little cubes and drop it in here if you wanted to use fresh mozzarella. You could change out your cheese. You could use any kind of cheese you wanted, actually. All right, so we have our little hand pies here. These are pizza hand pies, pockets. 
and we're going to spray those with some oil. And then we're not sprinkling cinnamon and sugar on them. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle some Italian seasoning on the top. Give it that kind of savory flavor. And then we're going to stick them in the air fryer on bake. And we're going to bake them for um, about 12 minutes. Okay, so we'll just take the air fryer. We rotate this right here. The air fryer comes with two shelves and a tray. And we'll push the button. And then we'll change the time down to 12 minutes. At six minutes, it's going to beep at me. And then I'll swap the trays. But that's pretty much it, guys. Some of the other products I used are prep bowls. Notice I've got four prep bowls. They actually come in a set of six. Um, these are so handy when you're cooking in your kitchen and you're prepping something, especially assembling something like this. Um, these are the cutting mats that I used. This is a dough and pizza roller. Um, I'm sorry, it's called a baker's roller. Dough and pizza roller, that's what it was called when I started back in 1998. Um, this is called our chef's silicone basting brush. Love this because it's silicone, so even if you have oil or whatever, like it totally gets clean because it goes in your dishwasher. And see, I used another prep bowl over here for water. Um, so that's five out of the six prep bowls that come in a set. I actually have a double set down here. Um, this is a leak-proof glass container. I love our leak-proof glass containers. And then of course our seasonings and um, the flour sugar shaker, which had the cinnamon sugar in there. So, um, and I should have had it with flour in there as well to get this all ready. But that's pretty much it. I'll post some pictures.